Ocean Alliance, trendsetter Monaco and Justin Trudeau love it. The white flag symbol was officially launched by its founders Christian Kuravic from Croatia and HSH Prince Albert II of Monaco on January 16, 2013 in Monaco. HSH Prince Albert, Alexander, Louis, Pierre II is the sovereign prince and head of state of Monaco. Christian Kuravic is a world champion diver and a man with a vision. He is also the founder of the Ocean Alliance, OACMSOS, the organization that started White Flag International. White Flag International White Flag International is the world's first and only sustainable ocean cleaning and certification system developed to minimize the plastic and non-degradable material in the oceans, lakes, and rivers. This is designed to protect human, aquatic, and marine life above and beneath the surface. White Flag's core is based on the act of physical extraction of plastic and non-degradable material in lakes, rivers, and sea beds, which are poisoning the ecological processes of fragile aquatic life and ecosystems. It suffocates marine life, and microplastic ends up in the human food chain. The initial idea for the white flag is to be only awarded to cleared marine areas for marine debris and plastic, beneath the ocean surface and above. The white flag symbol is meant to recognize and promote concrete measures for the preservation and protection of the ocean, lakes, and rivers. Croatian citizen Christian is passionate when it comes to ocean cleaning and diving. Iturbonus.com Monaco is now the trending factor for heads of state in the world. This movement grew way beyond Monaco's borders and became a global trend. An increasing number of heads of state are eager to raise the white flag on their beaches, not only to promote tourism. The white flag is today the most respectful symbol that has been given to heads of state who respect and share the white flag most fundamentals. Before any country is allowed to raise the white flag on one of its beaches, it starts with an obligation to maintain this area clean for an entire year before the flag could be raised. Screenshot After the first white flag was awarded to HSH Prince Albert II of Monaco, the second white flag went to Ibora Pahor of Slovenia for cleaning the Lake of Bled during a Bled film festival. Certified Safe Marine Area the creation of the Certified Safe Marine Area, CSMA, for human and marine life on the Lake of Bled was attended by President Borat Pahor who personally helped the divers pull the plastic from the lake. He was accompanied by American actors Armand Asante and Raid Serbajija. The White Flag Takes Europe In the Republic of Croatia, the White Flag was raised by President Isait Japan Mezik who became so involved that he took the helm as the OACM Vice President. In Norway, the first white flag award was raised by Thor Heyerdahl Jr. son of the famous adventurer Thor Heyerdahl to Borga Ausland on Mannhausen Island. Thor Heyerdahl Jr. is the eldest son of the world-famous adventurer who led the Kontiki expedition. As well as being chairman of the board at the Kontiki Museum for 22 years, he has had a long career as a marine scientist, lived tagging whales and polar bears and even working as a fishing advisor to Fidel Castro in Cuba. Polar explorer Borga Ausland is the owner of Manchhausen Island. With solo expeditions to both the South and the North Pole as well as solo crossings of both the Arctic and the Antarctic, Mr. Ausland has seen and witnessed the alarming changes in nature affected by human irresponsible behavior. He started the initiative together with White Flag International and Christian Kuravik, OACM president and former freediving champion, to clean Manchhausen Island by completely removing the plastic and other non-degradable waste found on the sea bottom around the island. The White Flag Project was more and more recognized by heads of state and governments in Europe. This recognition and desire to become certified and allowed to raise the White Flag has raised interest today on all continents. After Slovenia, another high-level White Flag Award was held in Macedonia with President E. George Ivanov but not before Lake Ored was cleaned up by divers which lasted an entire week. The official white flag ceremony was held on the Lake of Ored with Macedonian government officials and VIPs from show business, sports, and the corporate sector in which Mr. Christian Kuravik awarded the flag to President George Ivanov. Having this award noticed by heads of state on such a high level confirms the essence which was purely based on the impressive and concrete impact this project has on oceans, lakes, and rivers.
reaching financial sustainability while supporting national economies. The potential for this initiative to spread around the world is expanded enormously when the White Flag Project reaches financial sustainability and the potential to support national economies in the travel and tourism sector. Christian knew that without financial sustainability, White Flag could not take on solving the world's most intimate threat to mankind, ocean pollution. During this time he gathered the former heads of state, ministers, and government officials in charge of the economy, tourism, and social sectors and brought them together with financial experts and marketing experts from different public and private sector entities to launch the first foundation to make White Flag sustainable in a financial sense. The Formula One Connection A few years later Mr. Bernie Ecclestone, former Formula One owner, personal friend, and advisor to the president of Malta got involved in OACM. He introduced the white flag to Malta's Prime Minister Joseph Muscat and Minister of Environment José Herrera, as well as to the President of Malta, Marie-Louise Colairo Preca. The white flag was awarded to President Marie-Louise Colairo Preca. The second white flag in Malta was raised by U Commissioner for Maritime, Fisheries, and Environment E. Carmen Uvella, and the third by the Vice President of Malta in 2018. The same year White Flag reached the African continent and the first one won to the president of Seychelles Danny Four for the cleanup of the world-famous Beauvallon Beach in Victoria. The entire government of Seychelles and its ministers were officially present. Tourism is the lifeline for this Indian Ocean Paradise Island nation. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau loves it. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau personally sent an official letter to White Flag founder and OACM President Christian Kuravik and complimented him for his innovative, modern, and sustainable approach to solving the plastic problem in oceans. He recognized Christian's endless efforts in uniting nations to work together for the same environmental objectives. In the meantime, the North American White Flag has been extended to Latin and Central America. 2025 and 2026 expected to be the years. In 2025 and 2026 more heads of state will be able to raise the white flag on their shores than in the last 10 years. The white flag award has also a significant influence on global solidarity in a troubled world. It represents unity and global collaboration in which mankind needs to work as one. Raising the white flag is a sign of strong political leadership, will, and determination to lead, act, and overcome adversities that threaten our existence. Tourism Resilience It's also a clear sign of resilience, specifically in the travel and tourism sense. Each white flag raised means tons of plastic have been extracted, before the ceremony. Step by step, the foundation delivers financially sustainable solutions and leads governments to continuously create and expand white flag marine areas. The World Tourism Network is a proud partner. The World Tourism Network, WTN, is a proud strategic partner supporting the Ocean Alliance initiatives and the man behind it, Mr. Christian Kuravik Jürgen Steinmetz, WTN co-founder and chairman.